This video is brought to you by Patreon supporter Alex. Hello and welcome. Before I start getting into the specifics, just admire what you're looking at, because once I flip this magnifier down, everything is going to change. This magnifier is the Holosun HM3X sent in by Patreon provider Alex. He sent this as well as the Holosun 503G with the ACSS reticle. Now that the magnifier is down, we zoom in a little bit, and you are going to see right off the bat that this thing is sharp, clear, and beautiful. Everything about this magnifier, I'm going to say it right here, right now, is absolutely 100% worth its $200 price tag. The first thing we're going to focus on is this power transformer roughly 30 yards away. With the magnifier out, you can clearly see that it is nice and sharp. Once we bring the magnifier back over, look at how clear everything looks. Yes, at the very, very top, the, the cables get a little bit out of focus, but really that's a super nitpick I feel in this case, primarily because of how close we are. But once we go up top, you can see there's very little distortion when we go across those cables. If there was any sort of fish eyeing, you would see those cables start to bow. And keep in mind, 30 yards is so close, you'll probably never need to use a magnifier. However, if you needed to, for whatever reason, you can, and it's going to be sharp, as well as everything farther beyond that. That tree line's probably 250 yards, steel door is roughly 400, and those power transformers in the back are roughly 800 yards away. Due to a corrupt video file, this was taken a week after that video, and we're still looking through the HMX 3X. But what we're about to do is look through the Vortex Micro 3X sent in by Scott several weeks earlier. Now, take note of how the viewport is to what it is now. Despite the fact these eye reliefs are fairly similar, the viewport through the Micro 3X is much smaller. Plus, you see a lot more of the body of the Micro 3X as opposed to the HMX 3X from Holosun. I was not expecting this, because there's a $100 discrepancy between these two. Going back to the HM 3X, look at how much better the image looks. It's actually a little bit brighter, and I feel the colors might be a little bit better than it is on the Vortex. This HMX 3X is only $200. The Micro 3X, $300. I don't care who you are, $100 is a lot. So now we're looking through the HM 3X again through the 503. You want to see more of that? Go watch the 503G review. But now we're going to switch over to the 512. The reason for this, I want you to see what the magnifier looks like through different style optics. This being a very large window, some, similar to something you would see from EOTech, I want to see if there's any problems. None whatsoever. The image through it is beautiful, slight blue tint, but that's due to the 512. Also note that the dot in the center is not again a dot, it's oblong, proving once and for all that the 512 is at fault. Now switching on over to the Strike Fire 2, take a note at how small the viewport is and where the red dot is located, up and slightly off center. Once we flip the magnifier down like you're about to see, it's freaking gorgeous. Though the height difference between the strike fire and this magnifier are slightly different, when you get behind it like this, it doesn't really matter. There's roughly a 3 16ths of an inch height difference between how the strike fire 2 is mounted and the HM3X. It's excellent. The optics are perfect. But more on that good news later. Sticking with the strike fire 2, I'm going to give you an idea of what the eye box looks like shifting it side to side. Sadly, one of the videos that I had showing you in and out cannot be found and the magnifier has already been sent back to Alex, but you'll notice that there's a slight parallax shift, obviously, and the red dot does do a little bit of dancing. Honestly, nothing out of the ordinary. That was with the red dot mounted as close to the magnifier as possible. Now there's about a two inch gap in between it, and yes, we can see a little bit of the top of the red dot, but that's because the height difference between the two. 3 16 is a lot, especially when you get really far out, but shifting it side to side, no issues whatsoever. If the red dot was the same height of the magnifier, this would be a non-issue entirely. Excellent performance. Here we are, again with the Strike Fire 2 mounted close back to the magnifier in the evening, and it looks great. This is as good as it's going to get as far as me filming in these conditions. This is low light, sun's already gone down, only a couple hours of daylight left, and you can clearly see that this thing is still bright and very usable. From there, we're going to go to a, a known distance Again, 50 yards, my home away from home. Again, we're going to start by looking through the 503G, ACS has reticle. You want to see more on that? Go check because I go really in depth on both that optic and this magnifier. You'll see a lot more of those two specific combinations. This is what Alex had sent in, and together they work out phenomenally well. Picture is perfect. It's sharp. Look at that wall. Look at that concrete wall. You're looking about 15 yards and out. 
it is sharp and focused even that close in. It really boggles my mind that magnifiers can do this, and yet other optics such as LPVOs struggle a little bit. Switching it over to the 512, and you'll notice the blue tint right away. Again, that's an attribute of the 512. But other than that, image quality, no complaints whatsoever. But what I do have to say that's really, really cool is coming up right now. Strike Fire 2, take a look, real good look of looking through this. Small port, look how much of the wall you can see and look at the paper target. One paper target and a little bit tiny section of that wall. Once I flip the magnifier over, nothing has changed except adding the magnifier. And what's going to happen blows my friggin' mind. Look at how much more of the wall you can see and look at that. You could see two paper targets, not just one. This magnifier works so damn good that it actually gives you better viewing through a red dot than you would, you would normally see through the red dot. That's incredibly cool and all for 200 bucks. Now I know what you're all thinking. C, yes, that's fantastic, but how does the wind engine elevation track? Well, I sped the section up because it's boring as shit. As you just saw, maybe you didn't, but you'll I'll make note of it, it tracks perfectly fine. 503G ACSS reticle there for, on display, and all we're doing is adjusting the wind engine elevation. Now, the nice thing about having a magnifier is you don't need to have very precise mechanisms for your wind engine elevation for adjustments. All you're trying to do is center the red dot, or in this case, the ACSS reticle, as perfectly as you can on the center of the magnifier. Now, when the turret, turret, when the reticle goes all the way up, the bottom of the magnifier is going to get dark. What you're seeing there is actually the body of the red dot itself. So you have a ton of adjustability here and still be able to use it in case for whatever reason you wanted to shift it more to one side or up and down, you know you have that flexibility with this magnifier. Now, how does it handle really bright illumination? The 512 gets stupid bright, and as you can see, it handles it pretty well. You can still clearly see through it, even when we pull it to the side, the 512 is kind of hard to see. Solid, solid, solid. But here's something that you might not have thought of. Someone actually asked me in the comments about my last magnifier, can you use a magnifier with a prism? Well, this is my 2.5x PA prism, and actually, yes, you can. It's kind of weird to see that. I don't know why you would do that, but if you were questioning it, yes, you can. Also, one thing about adjusting the elevation and windage on this magnifier, it's extremely difficult, so do it as a last resort with the little tool they include, but get a screwdriver. It makes your life a lot easier. And with that, let's get into my final thoughts. So this Hollow Sun HM3X was sent in by Patreon provider Alex. He sent this in with the 503. If you haven't seen that review, check it out. Anyway, actually, you know I'll leave that right there because that's going to bring up a good point. This thing for $200 is outstanding. The mount isn't as nice as the Vortex is, but you know what? It works well enough. And it's got a pretty cool tool right there. So there is your adjuster for your elevation and your windage. But keep in mind, these are very, very tight, and this is gonna hurt your fingers a lot if you have to make huge adjustments with it. So I'm gonna put that right back there and use that only for emergencies, which hopefully would never come about with this. But for 200 bucks, you're getting decent eye relief and you're getting very clear glass. You're getting a decent mount and it just works. This thing is a no-brainer. I have some other reviews coming in for two primary arms magnifiers, both of them 3Xs, and I will say right now, as a bit of a sneak peek, go with this one. If you want to get your hands on a real budget-friendly magnifier, this thing, again, for 200 bucks, is really, really hard to beat. It's got all the features that you want, and it comes ready to go right out of the box. The one thing I will say is that it does not have a thin enough spacer with this setup to line perfectly up with this. So you could see how much lower it is right there. And with the spacer, it sits too high. So that's the one thing I could find that I don't care about this with is just a spacer. 
but despite the fact that these don't line up properly, this still works perfectly fine behind that red dot. And as you see in the videos, it is very sharp and clear. Edge to edge is excellent. The center is perfect. The colors and resolution, everything about this is well worth its price tag. So if you want to get into a, a I would say this is a lower to mid tier magnifier. I think this is a really, really good choice. A very huge thank you to Patreon provider, Alex, for sending this in for review. I'm so happy I finally got to get my hands on another magnifier that, well, I really, really liked. The only caveat I had with the Micro 3X was the eye relief was really short. This seems to be a little bit more forgiving, got a little bit more distance behind it, and it's cheaper. What else could you really want? Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. And a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible.